Where may you overtake on a one-way street? 1. On either the right or the left, 2. Only on the left-hand side, 3. Only on the right-hand side, 4. Overtaking isn't allowed. The answer is 1. On either the right or the left. What type of vehicle could you expect to meet in the middle of the road? 1. Bicycle. 2. Car. 3. Lorry. 4. Motorcycle. The answer is 3. Lorry. Where would you see this sign? 1. At playground areas. 2. At the side of the road. 3. In the window of a car taking children to school. 4. On the rear of a school bus or coach. The answer is 4. On the rear of a school bus or coach. Which vehicles should use the left-hand lane on a three-lane motorway? 1. Any vehicle that isn't overtaking. 2. Emergency vehicles only. 3. Large vehicles only. 4. Slow vehicles only. The answer is 1. Any vehicle that isn't overtaking. What does it mean if your insurance policy has an excess of 500 pounds? 1. The insurance company will pay the first 500 pounds of any claim. 2. You'll be paid 500 pounds if you don't claim within one year. 3. You'll have to pay the first 500 pounds of the cost of any claim. 4. Your vehicle is insured for a value of 500 pounds if it's stolen. The answer is 3. You'll have to pay the first 500 pounds of the cost of any claim. When do windscreen pillars cause a serious obstruction to your view? 1. When you're approaching a one-way street. 2. When you're approaching bends and junctions. 3. When you're driving on a dual carriageway. 4. When you're driving on a motorway. The answer is 2. When you're approaching bends and junctions. What does this sign mean? 1. Change to the left-hand lane. 2. Contraflow system. 3. Leave at the next exit. 4. One-way street. The answer is 2. Contraflow system. Your vehicle breaks down on a motorway and you need to call for help. Why might it be better to use an emergency roadside telephone rather than a mobile phone? One. It allows easy location by the emergency services. 2. It connects you to a local garage. 3. Mobile phones don't work on motorways. 4. Using a mobile phone will distract other drivers. The answer is 1. It allows easy location by the emergency services. When should you use the right-hand lane of a three-lane dual carriageway? 1. When you're overtaking only. 2. When you're overtaking or turning right, 3. When you're turning right only, 4. When you're using cruise control. The answer is 2. When you're overtaking or turning right. Who is authorized to signal you to stop? 1. A bus driver, 2. A motorcyclist, 3. A pedestrian, 4. A police officer, The answer is 4. A police officer. What does this traffic sign mean? 1. Danger ahead. 2. Service area ahead. 3. Slippery road ahead. 4. Tires liable to punctures ahead. The answer is 1. Danger ahead. Which type of sign tells you what you must not do? The answer is 1. What does this sign mean? 1. Cars and motorcycles only. 2. Clear way. No stopping. 3. No motor vehicles. 4. No overtaking. The answer is 3. 
No motor vehicles. What should you do if the traffic in the left-hand lane is slowing? 1. Accelerate past the vehicles in the left-hand lane. 2. Move across and continue in the right-hand lane. 3. Pull up on the left-hand verge. 4. Slow down, keeping a safe separation distance. The answer is 4. Slow down, keeping a safe separation distance. Where would you see a contraflow bus lane? 1. On a dual carriageway. 2. On a one-way street. 3. On a roundabout. 4. On an urban motorway. The answer is 2. On a one-way street. What hazard should you be aware of when traveling along this street? 1. Children running out between vehicles. 2. Glare from the sun. 3. Lack of road markings. 4. Large goods vehicles. The answer is 1. Children running out between vehicles. What does this road marking mean? 1. Don't cross the line. 2. No overtaking allowed. 3. No stopping allowed. 4. You're approaching a hazard. The answer is 4. You're approaching a hazard. How will a police officer in a patrol vehicle signal for you to stop? 1. Flash the headlights, indicate left and point to the left. 2. Overtake and give a slowing down arm signal. 3. Pull alongside you, use the siren and wave you to stop. 4. Use the siren, overtake, cut in front and stop. The answer is 1. Flash the headlights. Indicate left and point to the left. Where can you find reflective amber studs on a motorway? 1. On the left-hand edge of the road. 2. On the right-hand edge of the road. 3. Separating the lanes. 4. Separating the slip road from the motorway. The answer is 2. On the right-hand edge of the road. Why are these yellow lines painted across the road? 1. To help you choose the correct lane. 2. To help you keep the correct separation distance. 3. To make you aware of your speed. 4. To tell you the distance to the roundabout. The answer is 3. To make you aware of your speed. What does this sign mean? 1. End of motorway. 2. End of restriction. 3. Free recovery ends. 4. Lane ends ahead. The answer is 2. End of restriction. At traffic lights, what does it mean when the amber light shows on its own? 1. Go if no pedestrians are crossing. 2. Go if the way is clear. 3. Prepare to go. 4. Stop at the stop line. The answer is 4. Stop at the stop line. When should tire pressures be checked? 1. After any lengthy journey. 2. After traveling at high speed. 3. When tires are cold. 4. When tires are hot. The answer is 3. When tires are cold. How should you dispose of a used vehicle battery? 1. Bury it in your garden. 2. Leave it on wasteland. 3. Put it in the dustbin. 4. Take it to a local authority disposal site. The answer is 4. Take it to a local authority disposal site. What's most likely to increase fuel consumption? 1. Accelerating around bends. 2. Harsh braking and accelerating. 3. Poor steering control. 4. Staying in high gears. The answer is 2. Harsh braking and accelerating. You're approaching a crossroads. What should you do if the traffic lights have failed? 1. 
Be prepared to brake sharply to a stop. 2. Be prepared to stop for any traffic. 3. Brake and stop only for large vehicles. 4. Brake sharply to a stop before looking. The answer is 2. Be prepared to stop for any traffic. You're in a line of traffic. What action should you take if the driver behind is following very closely? 1. Ignore the driver behind and continue to travel within the speed limit. 2. Move over to a position just left of the center line of the road. 3. Signal left and wave the driver behind to come past. 4. Slow down, gradually increasing the gap between you and the vehicle in front. The answer is 4. Slow down, gradually increasing the gap between you and the vehicle in front. Which vehicles are prohibited from using the motorway? 1. Cars with automatic transmission. 2. Double deck buses. 3. Motorcycles over 50 cc. 4. Powered mobility scooters. The answer is 4. Powered mobility scooters. You see this amber traffic light ahead. Which light, or lights, will come on next? 1. Green alone. 2. Green and amber together. 3. Red alone. 4. Red and amber together. The answer is 3. Red alone. What does this sign mean? 1. Hump bridge. 2. Low bridge. 3. Traffic calming hump. 4. Uneven road. The answer is 1. Hump bridge. What does this sign mean? 1. Direction to bus and coach park. 2. Direction to park and ride car park. 3. No parking for buses or coaches. 4. Parking area for cars and coaches. The answer is 2. Direction to park and ride car park. Why should you test your brakes after this hazard? 1. You'll be going down a long hill. 2. You'll be on a slippery road. 3. You'll have just crossed a long bridge. 4. Your brakes will be wet. The answer is 4. Your brakes will be wet. The road outside this school is marked with yellow zigzag lines. What do these lines mean? 1. You may park on the lines when dropping off schoolchildren. 2. You may park on the lines when picking up schoolchildren. 3. You must stay with your vehicle if you park here. 4. You shouldn't wait or park your vehicle here. The answer is 4. You shouldn't wait or park your vehicle here. You're traveling on a motorway in England. When must you stop your vehicle? 1. When signaled to stop by a driver who has broken down. 2. When signaled to stop by a pedestrian on the hard shoulder. 3. When signaled to stop by a roadworks supervisor. 4. When signaled to stop by a traffic officer. The answer is 4. When signaled to stop by a traffic officer. Who may use toucan crossings? 1. Cyclists and pedestrians. 2. Motorcyclists and cyclists. 3. Motorcyclists and pedestrians. 4. Only cyclists. The answer is 1. Cyclists and pedestrians. Which sign means there will be two-way traffic crossing your route ahead? The answer is 2. Which sign means turn left ahead? The answer is 2. At an incident, a casualty is unconscious but breathing. When should you move them? 1. When an ambulance is on its way. 2. When bystanders offer to help you. 3. When bystanders tell you to move them. 4. When there's a risk of further danger.
The answer is 4. When there's a risk of further danger, what does it mean if this light comes on while you're driving? 1. A fault in the braking system. 2. A rear light has failed. 3. The engine oil is low. 4. Your seatbelt isn't fastened. The answer is 1. A fault in the braking system. You're driving in fog. Why should you keep well back from the vehicle in front? 1. In case it changes direction suddenly. 2. In case it stops suddenly. 3. In case its brake lights dazzle you. 4. In case its fog lights dazzle you. The answer is 2. In case it stops suddenly. When should you use the left-hand lane of a motorway? 1. When the road ahead is clear. 2. When you're making a phone call. 3. When you're overtaking slower traffic in the other lanes. 4. When your vehicle breaks down. The answer is 1. When the road ahead is clear. You're driving a vehicle that has anti-lock brakes. How should you apply the foot brake when you need to stop in an emergency? 1. Rapidly and firmly. 2. Rapidly and gently. 3. Slowly and gently. 4. Slowly but firmly. The answer is 1. Rapidly and firmly. Why should you switch off your rear fog lights when the fog has cleared? 1. To allow your headlights to work. 2. To prevent dazzling drivers behind. 3. To stop draining the battery. 4. To stop the engine losing power. The answer is 2. To prevent dazzling drivers behind. You're driving on a wet road. What should you do if you have to stop your vehicle in an emergency? 1. Apply the parking brake and foot brake together. 2. Give an arm signal. 3. Keep both hands on the steering wheel. 4. Select reverse gear. The answer is 3. Keep both hands on the steering wheel. What's the safest thing to do if you have to leave valuables in your car? 1. Lock them out of sight. 2. Park near a bus stop. 3. Park near a school entrance. 4. Put them in a carrier bag. The answer is 1. Lock them out of sight. You're approaching a zebra crossing. What should you do if pedestrians are waiting to cross? 1. Give way to older and infirm people only. 2. Slow down and prepare to stop. 3. Use your headlights to indicate they can cross. 4. Wave at them to cross the road. The answer is 2. Slow down and prepare to stop. You need glasses to read a vehicle number plate at the required distance. When must you wear them? 1. Only at night time. 2. Only in bad weather conditions. 3. When you think it's necessary. 4. Whenever you're driving. The answer is 4. Whenever you're driving. You're about to start a journey in freezing weather. What part of your vehicle should you clear of ice and snow? 1. The aerial. 2. The boot. 3. The bumper. 4. The windows. The answer is 4. The windows. When may you stop on an urban clearway? 1. To ask for directions. 2. To load or unload goods. 3. To set down and pick up passengers. 4. To use a mobile telephone. The answer is 3. To set down and pick up passengers. Which lights should you use when you're driving in a tunnel? 1. Dipped headlights. 2. Front spotlights. 3. Rear fog lights. 4. Side lights. The answer is 1. Dipped headlights.